my dear students today we will solve equation by multiplication equation by dividing using bar diagram and division equation by using models and multiplication property for equality the vocabulary multiplication property of equality division property for equality Solve 2x equals 10 and then check your solution. First of all, I will rewrite the equation again, which is 2x equals 10. Now, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So, first of all, I have to divide both sides of the equation by 2 to kick out this coefficient 2, which is standing beside the x. So divided by 2 in both sides of the equation, and this 2 will eat this 2. I have here in the side x, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So again and again, if I have 2x equals 10, it means 2 multiplied by x. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I have to divide both sides of this equation by the coefficient 2 to kick out this 2, which is standing beside the variable x. So 2 divided 2, I have here x, and 10 divided 2 equals 5. If I want to check my answer, I will replace the value of the x, which is 5, by 2x multiplied by 2x. So when we rewrite again the equation 2x equals 10, so I will replace the x with the 5, which I, I, I calculated in the previous uh, step. So 2 times 5 is 10. Now the answer is right because the equation said that the 2x equals 10. So this sentence is true. Let's move to the next. 6x equals 18. Again, the first thing I have to do is rewrite the equation again. So you have to rewrite the equation, which is 6x equals 18. The first step is the inverse of Multiplication is division. So I have to divide both sides of this equation by 6, the coefficient which is standing beside the variable x. So I will divide both sides by 6. So here divided 6 and here divided 6. When we divide the both sides of the equation by 6, so the 6 eats the 6. So I have in this side x equals and 18 divided by 6 is 3. So x equals 3. If I want to check my answer, I will rewrite the equation again. 6. 6x equals, and then replace the x with its value, which is 3. So it's 3, and this 3 multiplied by times 6. So I will multiply 3 times 6 is 18. And the value of the equation is 18. So my answer is right. When we check our answer, the value of x is 3. Let's move to the next. Solve 3x equals 6. So I will divide again and again. I will rewrite the equation again. Then 3x equals 6. Then divided both sides of equation by 3. So I will divide each side by the coefficient 3, which is standing beside the x. Now x equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. The value of x is 2. I want to check my answer. What shall I do? I will rewrite again and replace the x with 2. So I will multiply the x, the 3x, 
3 times 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. I got the same value. So the sentence is true. Let's move to the next. 4x equals 24. Again and again, we will write again the equation as it is. 4x equals 24. Now, I want to kick out this coefficient 4, so I have to divide it both sides of my equation by 4. So, divided 4 here and divided 4 here. Now, this 4 eats this 4, so the answer here is x equals 24 divided 4 is 6. So, the value of x is 6. Okay, let's move to the next. Some friends share the cost of package of blank CDs. The package cost $24 and each person contributed $6. How many people shared with the cost of the CDs? First of all, you have to read the question well. Then the words here, amount each, contribute time, uh, number of people equals of the CDs. So the variable, let's uh, uh, represent x for the number of people that contributed the money. So the bar diagram is all of the cost is 24 and this is the six, six dollars. So the share of each person. So how many persons do I need? So now the number of sections are known by the each, each section represent six dollars. So how many can how can I divide it and how many numbers of sections do I have? The, this, this represented the number of people. So the equation is six times x equals twenty-four. So I will divide it by six because I want to kick out this coefficient six, which is beside the variable x. So when we rewrite again the equation divided by six in both sides, so x equals four. So this is the value. Let's check our answer, six, and replace the x for four. And now we multiply six times four is 24. So my answer is right. Thomas uses four cups of flour to make two loaves of bananas bread. Write down and solve the multiplication equation to find the number of cups of flour uh, that are needed to make one loaf of bread. Again, he uses four cups of flour to make two loaves. So the two cups is, need is needed to make two loaves of bread. Write and solve multiplication equation to find the number of cups. Can we represent the number of cups by x? Now it's 2x equals 4 because I, I have to make two loaves by 4 cups. So it's 2x equals 4. So 2x equals 4. And now we divided both sides of the equation by 2. Now, the value of x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I need another 2 cups. Let's move to the next. Here, it's different. Solve a over 3 equals 7. This is division. And the opposite operation, operation of division is multiplication. Now, I will rewrite again, but first of all, I can use a model. So the model of the equation, what does it mean? It means A, which is the total, and over three, that means that A divided into three equal parts. Each part equals seven. So what shall I do? I have to solve the equation work back. So these are seven parts. So the total 
of A is 21 because this is 7 and 7 and 7. So the total of A is 21. How can we solve it by using samples? As we said that uh, uh, 2 over 3 equals 7. So it divided by 3. So I have to multiply both sides by 3. Why we multiply both sides by 3? Because the opposite of division is multiplication. So I will multiply this side by 3 and this side by 3. Now this 3 eats this 3, so the remainder is A. A equals 7 times 3 is 21. So the value of A is 21. If I want to check my answer, I will replace the A over 3, which is 7 over 3. Uh, sorry, uh, 21 over 3. And the 21 over 3, is it equals to 7? Yes. And now the two values are equal, so the sentence is true. Solve P over 7 equals 5. What shall I do in this kind of questions? We're, we will rewrite again the question. So I can write it. P over 7 equals 5. Now P over 7 equals 5. Time. What shall I do? We said before that the opposite of division is multiplication. So I have to multiply both sides by seven. So I will multiply both sides by seven. Now, when we multiply these two sides by seven, what shall we do? This seven eats the seven. So the remainder here in the side is P. Now, P equals 7 times 5, or 5 times 7 is 35. Now, the, the value of P equals 35. So, from the previous, we said before that we used the opposite operation. Here, the operation is division, and the opposite of division is multiplication. I have finished my session for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.